Well, the fans here are all set, every one of them eagerly awaiting the 58 laps of today's race. Albert Park often seems to set teammate against teammate. From Hill and Villeneuve dueling for the 1996 win, to Bottas beating fellow Mercedes driver and pole sitter Hamilton to the win in 2019. The Albert Park circuit is bursting with rapid corners and a long straight where drivers can push their speed to the limits. Good attention to medium speed downforce will likely make beating this beast of a track just a little bit easier. Well, there's nothing quite like it. Welcome along to race day. Final checks have been carried out by the teams and it won't be long until we get this race underway. A lot of people will be keen to see just how Joe Guan Yu will fare today. Starting this one from 21st place puts them at such a disadvantage. They're bound to find this a difficult race. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? Brace yourselves for the Australian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. All right, drivers are away, drivers are away. Always defend, always attack, always defend. If we can hold on to the position. Always attack. Always attack. All right, first couple corners are next. Going to keep the So we want to try and keep positions slightly easier to Neutral and it's time to scale back on the tires. Okay, maximum focus on cooling on those tires. Oh, there we go. As we're sorry, Matt Falkenberg has gone past us for P10. Meanwhile, Aerosmith is Aerosmith is fighting for 18th place and has got it. Huge. Absolutely. Let's massive. take a closer look. Let's watch how that. Now we're happens. watching the action closely oh, that is a here. Big gaggle. It's certainly inviting. Can we take advantage of it. And that sees them move up into 18. 18 plus. But it is a long race ahead of us, and we don't know what is going to happen. So, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on the prize. Hardly uh, still taking on the key. Aerosmith is still going to 18 now, gunning. And thankfully, the cars in front of us are fighting like no one's business, so that is a good for us. 
class. Um, the cargo has brought back from Hulkenberg and the stool right on his tail. Otherwise, this is looking pretty good for us. We're going for the overtake. Are you going to do it? We are coming into another DRS zone stroke. DRS is open. We can't make the overtake work. Yeah, we cannot make this overtake work. Oh no, can he? Ricardo goes for an aggressive defense, but it's not enough. The stroke takes a living place dropping Ricardo down. Wow. However, this overtake yep. is going to give. This is my pace. This overtake is going to give Ricardo the DRS going into the start. Okay, right. head down. We keep focusing. So, DRS is open. Two DRSs in a row, but deploy, deploy, deploy. Okay, we couldn't make we couldn't make that one work, but we're trying to go around overtake the outside. Overtake available. Side side. Understood. Does that give Stroll the DRS? We don't have enough no, basket. we got the double DRS, okay. so we got the position before the DRS. So that allowed Ricardo. You're doing great. Currently P11. Okay, so in front of you is Hülkenberg. So Ricardo gets a place back. That's huge. Okay, so the race is starting to bring out the Hülkenberg. Aerosmith is starting to lose the round of Ferrera. But she's doing, she's doing a good job. So, uh, so how many cars are on cars? We are the only car that is on cars right now. So if Aerosmith is on then when they all go to their hard stops later on, then it is like it, it is a fun game. So we're playing the long game on this one, so this is potentially huge. So Stroll and Ricardo are fighting. Stroll gets a place again in the DRS, so unfortunate. We just need to get the hard Okay, gotcha. But DRS, can we catch up? Uh, Stroll's gained a lot of ground with us. And this allows us to close the gap slightly. Come around the corner again, got another DRS zone. DRS is open on Ricardo, he's a bit challenged in the place. And these two seem to be quite even in match. Oh, straight <laughs> Five. You're doing a good job. So let's have a little look and see how... Our next one is Hülkenberg. How the, the okay, Hülkenberg 3.5 behind. So Verstappen is in a race of his own. Two seconds behind him is uh, Charles Leclerc, who is fighting off against Perez. A uh, second behind him is Andrew Norris, who is in a pair with the Sainz. This is very much the Formula 1 part of the two. Alonso's two seconds behind him is Michael Russell. Uh, and then we get the first kind of battle of the back of the Hamilton and Hamilton and Hulkenberg. Now, like the first position, and indeed, Hamilton just taken the position. Yeah. Up to 19th, and 8th place, Hamilton, and then we're going to see after the race. The race continues behind the back of our, uh, our fight, which is Stroll and Ricardo, which is just this concentrating in places. Keep your head down. Bottas, uh, so three seconds behind that is Albon, who is fighting off Bottas, who now has developed a mechanical fault uh, with Magnus and uh, Oh my god, this is a big deal. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is everybody fighting for 13th place. Holy shit. This one's good. So we've got an aggravated freight train fighting for 13th place. Once again, Ricardo has got this. <laughs> and at one point, one of these drivers ran up what do you think about the tires? Okay, tires are still okay. Okay, so these tires are holding them quite well. We're still on track for our lap 15 pit stop, so we're one third of the way down there. And, and Aerosmith's tires are also holding them well. Still on track for our lap 26 pit stop. Hold behind you have DRS. So Stroll's got DRS, uh, is he going to take it? He is in the first DRS zone. Can he find a way past Ricardo? No, he cannot. Coming into the final kind of complex section.
Joel's got his DRS, he's trying to come around the outside now of Ricardo and it is a clean manoeuvre, there's another DRS over right after this. Oh, but Stroll's got a huge speed advantage. That's okay. Huge. I'm directly behind you as Bottas. I don't even know if we've got DRS there. Stroll is clean as, but he is, he is just gone. He is sailing. And that kind of concludes that. Uh, Ricardo is now pretty much in the race of his This is the big gang gang place here. But once again, we are only what places we can gain and or hold on to. Higher can go to hard higher. Because unless it's the same, then they are going to have to use their tires. And I think at this point, if there is a safety bar, I'm going to hit the So Stroll, Stroll has gone two seconds. Stroll has found something. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the grid. So Verstappen's still in a race on the screen, but Clark for the fastest lap. Stroll desperately trying to catch up Falkenberg. Uh, Ricardo in a race of four, and Magnussen leading the gang of three. Uh, Daniel Ricardo. Um, and then the fight for 13th place is still on, and Magnussen is uh, heading up to the top pass. And then Ferreira, Juan Manuel Ferreira is in 16th place with the remainder of the cars fighting for that position. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do one more lap like this. And then we are going to have a little sense check on our strategy. So we're gonna do the strategy the best we can. Um, the annoying thing is I'm definitely going to run out of drink. This is over. I'll do a NASCAR style ad break and then uh, <laughs> go from there. Okay, overtake success though, okay. You missed out on that one. Let's, watch Let's have a look at that. Right, so this was the fourth corner. So a the DRS opportunity pass begging to be taken. Inside. She fights it. Oh, she runs them wide. Oh, and up they go to 17th. That was so aggressive. <laughs> so aggressive. Uh, we're now up to 17th for, for Arrows. <laughs> um, but. Verstappen is lap. Uh, he's coming up to start lap 10. And we're now going to consider things at the lap 10. Right. So, at lap 10, we've gone from minus 1. So, once Ricardo crosses the line, He's just about to come into the last corner just now. So last lap for Staffen was a 1.39. Uh, and Cardo was a 1.61. Uh, okay, so we're at one, so minus one point five. 
So we are gaining 0.3 per 10 laps. This is a 58 lap race. So. Okay, gotcha. Uh, 0.3 times 5.8 is 1.74 okay so like this we will we will conserve enough fuel for the race Aerosmith is the same so Aerosmith lap slap is 1.57 1.57 on empty on tires when you can okay so let's clear this so let's go for an okay so fraps fraps are taking a bit of a beating So the difference for Ricardo's race is 2 seconds, and Aerosmith is, let's call it 2 seconds. Ricardo's having to fight off Sonoda now, it's a bit rough. Okay, good job. Uh, in front of you is Troll. gap to the leader, uh, so 60 seconds, so basically this is going to be 30 laps until we get lap, which means we are going to get lap. That is hard enough. So we can we, we don't have to worry about I don't think we have to worry about our fuel saving situation at the minute. Currently it's it well stroll in front. Stroll it knows 3.28. You keep it. Our race is holding up really well, really well. She is fighting, she is defending, she is uh, let's take stock of this race. So Verstappen is now across the line, finishing lap number well, uh, fin finishing lap number eleven, starting lap number well. With Lando Norris now second place, uh, we have the leader, which is interesting. Sainz has regained uh, place after his victory. Oh, we've got a yell flag. What's happened? Uh oh. Get ready. Okay. Uh, so well, this, this is what happened. Had a lock -up. Now, this happened as they arrived at turn 12. Comes on in. Oh, and oh, the car he... locks up. Uh, so but that's just the risk you take. The, the later ground. you leave it. No, I think that actually pushes Aerosmith up. Yep, Aerosmith gets pushed up again. So that's all pretty huge. Um, okay, cool. So, we have Verstappen in the lead of this race with Carlos Sainz now less than one second of the time. Uh, he's closed up, he's got the DRS. This might be a change for the lead. Now that we've come right here, can he hold on to it? Oh, he can, but we're coming up to the second of the DRS zones, or I guess the third of the DRS zones. It's a, it's a version of Cinder and Bagwood forward. He goes for it, and Carlos Sainz takes the lead of this race. But there's one final DRS thing. So the maneuver at that point is going to give Max Verstappen DRS to be to start going straight. He definitely has it, but can he capitalize? The DRS is open. The gap's not 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. But it's not enough. It's not enough. DRS zone 4 goes straight into DRS zone 1. Max Verstappen once again gets DRS again. Nothing he can do. So going into the complex, uh, complex but going into uh, the main dirt track, uh, Sainz has taken the of this race. Uh, Verstappen second, Charles with the third, Ben Lando Norris. And Sainz behind. Uh, okay. Oh, alrighty. Uh, yeah, that's it. So it's a four-way battle. Okay, keep it clean. Focus on the pace. Perez has come out the pits in ninth place. Okay, what is coming now? With a gap from Stroll, Sonoda, Ricardo, Bottas. Bottas is leading. Oh, this is all closed up again. <laughs> this is all closed up once again. Stopped in the commentary for a little bit because you know, it's actually not shiny. So we're on lap 13 and we are going to be coming to uh, our pit stop very shortly. Our planned pit stop is lap 15 and that is indeed where this pit stop is going to be. 
We're still holding Aerosmith uh, on our car tires. Um, there might be opportunity for cars or other things. I'm going to change how this goes. I'll convert it into pit. So it, this is going to be tricky because we're only two places away from the point. Uh, and we have to get points. Um, so my personal campaign, our only goal is to get um, 9th in the championship. But for this online campaign, it's the 7th championship. That is going to be a big ass. We don't have to do it this season, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so Ricardo is now coming on to uh, his last Which is when the pit strategy tells us that we are going to be uh, the king. Uh, I'm still confident based on the numbers that I'm seeing that we can that we can make it. However, we're not really within any opportunities ours. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to push. Push as hard Head on as we now. can with the tires. Yeah, opportunities here. Well, I'll speak to the next people coming right behind Raven. Uh, that's a bit interesting. They're fighting together. Uh, so we're going to open our pit stops and we're going to change on to the hard tires for this stint. So change on to the hard tires for the stint. Box, 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 box. Let's see how this goes. Box, go, box. So Piastri is struggling. Oscar Piastri. Oh, that pit stop has ruined his race. He's come out into the gaggle of the back marker and See how the pit stop goes. Our team, our team can see so the pit stop go fast and slow, but not make any mistakes. Here we go, our team's at the pit lane. Uh, 2.9, it's not fast. It's not fast. We can still get out in front of our competition, and I want to see something with Daniel's strategy. Um, if we make this go. Find. Okay, we, we, we cannot go aggressive, but what we can do is we can go aggressive now. So let's go aggressive to get heat in those tires, and then let's take it from there. Okay, so 1.2 seconds Okay, currently P17. Uh, and the leader is Ahead of first is Sargent. 51 seconds, so 51 seconds. Uh, so 51 minus 86 is 30, 35, so in 35 laps, so we will still be lapped by the end of the race. Ricardo will still be lapped by the end of this race. Who's been in the pit? Okay. So, it's all, it's all going, the front this is where, this is where strategy now comes into things. Uh, Lando Norris is in the... Not 
stop at the pits. Uh, what tires is he? He started the race on the medium tires, so that's probably what's giving him that little advantage there. We had a successful overtake for Aerosmith on Ocon. Here's the replay. Now we're watching the action closely here. They decide to give it a go. That puts them in 13th place now. Nice. Cool, so Lando Norris is now um, in P1. Only because he hasn't stopped. It is a roughly 21 seconds for a green flag pit stop. So that is going to put him probably down about here, here. Oh, Aerosmith's overtaken Bond. Yes. Right then, we can take she's a look she's now. On, she's on the right, workout. let's have a look now. Around turn three. Can they squeeze by? Oh, up to beautiful. 12th and sniffing at those points places. Up to 12th place. Okay, we need to take, we need to take stock of that one. Let's see if uh, Norris comes in. Let's see what this does for the race lead. Norris stays out, Lando Norris stays out. Okay, fine. Um, so here's what we need to see now. So if we look at the tires. Fine, yeah. So th this is huge. We still need to make our pit stop. Um, but we, we, we have overtaken cars that are on the medium tire on our hards. So this is this is good. As long as we can keep it clean. Bottas is going to be coming into the pits before us anyway. Um, this is a great performance. Yeah, this is this is a great performance from Aerosmith. Oh, and Aerosmith has gone back and hit. So, let's take stock of this race. Lando Norris, who has not picked it, is currently losing a lot yep. of ground. This is my pace. Um, to, uh, to Perez, who's gaining on him. You focus on your race. But Perez is also fighting off Hamilton. Verstappen's in a race of his own. Two points five ahead. Clark, Sinoda, Hulkenberg, Alonso, P. Hastry, Tyro Smith. Bottas is the only battle we've got going on. This is the right place to fight him off. Alban in the race of the Magnus, Jal, and then Bobby Carr, still in dead last place. Norris finally hits and he comes out. Is it going to be exactly where I thought it would be? Oh no, it's not. It's going to be one position higher than that. So that's a good stop from the McLaren team to put Norris out into sixth place. So now um, Lance Stroll and Bottas with their gammy tires are fighting each other with arrows gives Aerosmith a clear to go. She is maintaining her tires so well. Ricardo did lose a position, um, but I think he might yeah, he lost a position but has um, gained it back by virtue of Hong Kong going Yeah, we're on these hard tires. We're gonna try and stick with these hard tires for a while at the and, and see what we can. I know we can't stick to it the entire time, but just see what we're gonna do possibly get. Uh, in terms of lapping, Perez is in the lead of this race. And last place Sargent is about one third of the lap behind, so yeah. We've now got a three-way battle for the lead with Perez fighting off Hamilton and Chris Shepard. This, this is all starting to develop a little bit. Russell from first place fighting off Sainz and Norris at the same time. Then Leclerc, Sonoda fighting off Alonso and Hulkenberg. And Piastri having Perez and Aerosmith is eight seconds to the year. Bottas is in the pitch. We still have to give 
about his mechanical qualities. Both our drivers are currently doing really good on their tires. So Bottas is now going to come out in 21st place. It's going to be a little bit by our car. Aerosmith lost the first place. Whoa. How did that happen? He was like two seconds of the flat. Pitted. He's got a new set of medium tires. If he didn't do that, I would be worried for his career prospects. Next behind is Juan Manuel Carrera, uh, Carrera, who is four and a half seconds behind Aaron Smith, but does all the same set of new repeat tires. Uh, but he is much more on the level of our pace, so being able to keep uh, him off is going to be huge. Ricardo's the 15, 2.2 seconds behind Carrera, um, and we are kind of using our tires trying to catch up with him uh, now. Uh, we've got Sonoda in the pits. Now it's like a fairly clean stop. Where is he going to come out in relation to our driver, Raven and Aerosmith? Aerosmith passes him. It's going to be fight on for Ricardo. So these two are going to battle together. Magnussen is starting to catch up on Ricardo. He is not as comfortable on these hard tires. Than maybe what is Magnussen working with? Magnussen is working with the Magnussen behind the tire apparently. Magnussen one point two. Okay, so he's got hard tires, same as us. The need is for these two to start fighting. These two teammates to start fighting uh, to allow Ricardo to But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with the silence of the race for just a couple of minutes. I'm going to get myself a bedrag. We okay on temperatures? Tires are too hot now. We're back. Uh, Ricardo's tires are now too hot, so we're going to go back to standard because we don't want I'm to. I'm trying to cool uh, down the tires where you can. Really it's slightly coming up. We don't want to burn out those tires more than we have to. Okay. Um, Aerosmith is within her pit window, and she's being ganged up on here. 
Uh, so I might bring. Oh, she did. So Sonoda just passed her, but she's still doing a good job. I think we push with these tires now. They're reaching the end of their life. Let's just push the ploy and try and hold on to these positions the best we can. Yellow flags, we've got yellow flags, we don't know why. Yellow flags have been rescinded. Sergeant once again now this had is a lock turn up. six. The Logan Sergeant. The wheels just lock up there. What caused that, oh, I wonder? Into the gravel. Lucky he didn't hit the barrier there. Jesus. You're doing a very good job. Oh, Ricardo's now behind Aerosmith. This is huge. This is huge. Okay, so Ricardo's gonna sail past here. Okay, this is good. This is good. This has actually worked out in our favor. Um, let's burn these tires and let's get let's get in a lap early. We should get in a lap early. Yellow flags again. We've been rescinded. Well, let's take Gasly a look at the green line. Line. Now, just keep your eyes on Gasly here. Just a bit too wide at that point. Fighting with the car, just a little, perhaps. So you lose the two positions by that run wide on entry, which is a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, okay, we're, we're gonna go for this pit stop one lap early, so let's burn these tires. Uh, what is, what is our lapping situation? Our, our lapping situation? No guarantee we're gonna get lapped. Aerosmith has done a great job here of giving this gap to Ricardo. Like, this helps Ricardo race. She is going to get overtaken here. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we're now one lap early our pit stop but we are going to box early we're going to box early and we're going to go on to this set of mediums so we brought her pit stop forward to lap 25 let's see how this goes so she one Manuel Carrera has broken free, uh, as has Magnuson, uh, but hopefully that has just given her, uh, given enough like uh, stable. to Ricardo, stable uh, with that for Ricardo to make something of this. Aerosmith is now struggling a tad, the confidence is very low, um, because she's just been overtaken so many times. But, um, let's get some pop up on this. We're just going to keep burning through these tires. We are going to pit at the end of this lap. Ocon is probably going to overtake us. But we are going to go on some of tires here. Remember, these guys are running a different race to us. We were the only car to start the race on the hard tire. The fact that we are not stone dead last year is, is amazing. Sergeant who's probably going to overtake us. 
Okay, let's get the heat in these tires. Let's go. Let's go. So we have come out in last place. But we are right behind the Logan Sergeant with tires heat. He's on the hards. All the cars up to 16th place are on hard tires. And the hard tires that they have on are absolutely scum. So we should be able to close this interval, so it's 1.5. Let's wait for these tires to get up to temperature, and let's see how it gets all at Let's do a little bit of pop up for these guys. Charge on it. Yep. Because Ric Ricardo is not fighting or defending a position, and at the moment, Neo really is Aerosmith. Yellow flags again. This time they're on for a while. Okay, but they're off. So, no idea what happened there. Now, we should be able to take a look here. Now, this was Valtteri Bottas. Oh, no! Why'd they go? Perhaps Ooh. a little lapse in concentration, maybe. So Bottas goes wide, uh, but then rejoins relatively safely. Uh, safely. Uh, in terms of first to last place, uh, Aerosmith is about to get lapped. So, this is going to be quite important for the concentration strategy. So right now Aerosmith is gunning down Logan Sargent. Uh, we're coming into a complex of corners here. Which we're not going to be able to do anything with. The DRS zone is here. So we need to be within a second. 1, 1.0, 1.99. Oh, really touch and go if we have DRS. We're gonna come around the corner. Did she make the DRS though? So that is the question. We do, we got the DRS. starting to struggle. Magnuson's developed a fault. What is the fault? Let's see. I'm having issues with sound safety. It's a gearbox fault, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So using the DRS, we're in the DRS zone again for Aerosmith. There's two in quick succession. And that has allowed us to catch right up the back of Logan Sargent. Let's now change the DRS to deploy, deploy, deploy. We've popped up enough. Let's deploy everything that we have. We are definitely in DRS zone for DRS number four. Here we go. Can, can we elicit an overtake? We're on the inside. We're pretty clean past. Let's keep that overspeed. And let's burn off this ERS. The car behind... Oh no, we got DRS. Oh, there's no DRS zone there. That's huge. Okay, sorry. There is a DRS zone, but there's no DRS detector. Right, that's interesting. Four DRS zones, but zero DRS detectors. Huge. Let's go back to top up mode. And the tires here are now up to a good temperature, so let's go to standard attack. And this race is looking pretty good. So let's see how quickly we can catch up on Zhao. So right now the gap is six seconds. Zhao is fighting off against Gasly, so hopefully that will back them up. And we'll take it from there. I want to see Aerosmith bring this gap down really quickly. Because Zhao is on hard tires and they are old hard tires. So I, I really want to see some good performance out of Aerosmith here. But for the moment, she's quite a fair bit behind. So let's take a stop on this race. Right now we have Verstappen in the lead of this race by 8 seconds from Lando Norris, who's fighting off our Gagang Gang, Sainz, Perez, and uh, in 6th place. 
place. Uh, Fernando Alonso is in the race by himself, followed by Hamilton, Piazza, Hulkenberg, Stroll, George Russell, who is in a fight with Sonoda, um, Ricardo, gammy ass hard tires, is currently fighting off a battle of Magnussen, Carrera, Ocon, uh, for Wait. This is for a position, so we want to try and keep these uh, cars as far as behind as we can. Because as much as they keep fighting... Magnussen um, in your dears. As, much, as long as they keep fighting, that is going to allow this whole battle to slowly start, uh, which will bring uh, Aerosmith back to the frame. Albin is in a race of his own, as is Bottas and Gasly. Uh, oh no, Gasly is not Gasly is followed by Jal. Aerosmith is in a fight, and he's trying to get down. And then Sargent is in a race of his own, and he has become the, the, the last... Honestly, I don't think we can do much more. Magnussen has overtaken Ricardo. We just Ricardo. keep the head down on the way to as best as we can, okay? But Ricardo's gone into DRS, so he's got DRS, and he's going to have double DRS here. The important thing for fuel conservation is Sargent is about to get lapped by Verstappen, which means that we can push with our fuel. So our new fuel target goal for Aerosmith is going to be minus 1.8 on fuel. This is cool. let's push with that engine and let's go for it. Let's fucking go. We don't really have a lot of wiggle room with our tire. So, They're doing very good. Um, we will have to overtake with the fuel and Ricardo has overtaken Magnus and have a pick up. Oh, look at this battle. Oh, this is such a battle. Look at it. Alrighty. I think if I was ever to get a uh, 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 autograph of Daniel Ricardo, we have good tires. Okay, understood. Love it. Oh, uh, oh, I got a Okay, so Ricardo is still leading this again. They've all got DRS on Ricardo, but I doubt they're going to be able to capitalize. Verstappen is still not lapped uh, Aerosmith, but I'm sure that it's going to happen. But let's stick with this gigant gang and see what we do. So these hard tires are not ideal, but we are we are pushing off. Magnussen has DRS. Man, this fight must be just sweat provoking for a fight. Uh, how are the tires holding up? The tires are, the tires are holding up pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. The fact that we were able to hold off these guys, so everyone has made one pit. Yeah, it's ones across the board, so this is this is pretty good. For Ricardo, this is for position. Um, for Aerosmith, she hasn't had the soft tire out of the way yet. Um, so she has an advantage on the rest of these drivers. Um, because the rest of these drivers are either going to go to hard or mediums uh, after their pit stop. So Aerosmith does have one more pit stop to make, uh, but that is just going to give us an advantage. Safety car is going to change everything. Uh, right now, if we get a safety car, we've got two new sets soft tire to use for Aerosmith. That's an easy slam dunk. Ooh, Bottas is another mechanical ball. I lost the gears to shift. Another mechanical fault for Bottas. He is riding the struggle bus like nobody's business. We've got a bike developing for second place. Team Ferrari. Well, it's Team Ferrari and fucking Norris. They fight? Oh lord, they fight? Ahead of us is Sargent. So we just have to uh, get head on. You can never tell Pierre is uh, French. It's not Logan Sargent, it's Sargent. 
Lapping situation, let's see where the leader is. Okay, fine. So, yeah, we, we for arrows, we are free to burn off quite a lot of fuel. So, let's keep burning this fuel. Try to catch up on Zhao. We aren't catching him up. Ah, uh, Jay, you know what? We are. We are. I was going to say we weren't catching him up nearly as much as I wanted. Um, but we have reduced a seven second gap down to two seconds. So that's not bad, not great, but not bad. But where's his fire station? Yeah, he's on a set of super stuff cards. As his gas uh, They will be pitting soon anyway. Uh, Ricardo has lost out to Ocon. Why? Ah, he's got, he's got a set of medium. We're older. Nah, that's not the worst thing. That uh, has released Ocon. Ricardo is from the but currently, both of our drivers have had their goals. So this is looking pretty ship shape for us. Our behind the DRF range, Magnus and other uh, squabbling, no, they're squabbling. They're squabbling. Verstappen in regards to Okay. He's still a bit behind. I've not done the math in a little while, but um, yeah, the math is currently looking good that we are going to have to not worry about fuel conservation. Pushed wide? Oh, Ricardo. My boy. Lance Stroll is in the pits now. Yep. This is my pace. Okay, we've got the second round of pit stops on the go. Don't worry. Uh, those on medium tyres have gotten ahead of Ricardo now that his tyres are starting to go into the end. But we've held them up enough to get Harold's the best chance to capitalise on this. Um, so, yeah, so Ocon in pit and Carrera. Carrera staying out, but he will definitely. Keep the head done. Magnussen is right behind Ricardo. He's going to be able to take, he's going to have the double DRS. That's slightly unfortunate. What's Magnussen? He's working with an older set of tires, so Ricardo should be able to hold him off. Indeed, he has gone past him. Hey, Nexus, how you doing? And Bottas is a mechanical motor. The story of Aerosmith continues. Yes, Aerosmith and Ricardo. They're both doing really well. Both doing really well. We have if this race if this race were to finish now, we would get nearly a million dollars in, in goodies. Uh, even though we don't get any points, so I this is this is Alright, let's take stock of this race. Verstappen is in the lead of a race of his own. Leclerc is behind by 9 seconds. He's in the race of his own as is Sainz. Perez is in 4th place by Alonso and Hamilton. 3-way battle for Norris in 7th on his own as Piastri. Grand Stroll, Sonoda. Uh, Juan Manuel Conrera is in the pits for his second pit stop, which will give the place to Ricardo. But he's fighting off Magnussen. With Albon behind him, uh, with Bottas and Zhao. Zhao is fighting off our very okay. own Raven Arrow. Uh, with Gasly also in the mix, and then up on and start the stream. How's the stream going in general? The stream has been kind of And there's quiet. been a Raven slow pit stop. Verstappen for the lace read has. Lace. Le race lead has had a slow pit stop. Oh, 
Verstappen race is ruined for them. Magnussen starting to struggle. Okay, Magnussen is struggling. I think he's tired. Oh, well, yeah, right. It, it certainly looks like they've developed a fault. Okay, great. That doesn't, doesn't tell me what it is. Fine. Uh, we're coming up to Ricardo's second pit window. Kyle Smith has gained a position. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah, this stream been a little quiet so far uh, at Iron Nexus, but um, I've still been having lots of fun. We're on our first race of two for the stream, and um, uh, yeah, the three million generals have had quite a, a good few couple of streams recently, um, so we've been, been enjoying those. Carter's mm. confidence is a bit dog shit. Magnuson with his mechanical ball. Okay, head on, no problem. Slightly annoying. But Ricardo does not have DRS, and it's going to be a double DRS, so we'll see if he can capitalize. Oh, Magnussen ahead of you. It's a double DRS zone. Oh, he's going for the outside line. That's bold. That's bold. Just that up. requires testicular fortitude, and he's got it. Oh, so in terms of strategy, both of our drivers are on different strategies. Good job. Ricardo, uh, this, this uh, fight here is for position. For Aerosmith, she got her hard tyres out of the way at the start of the race. Um, so she has soft tyres to go after this pit stop. Whereas other drivers are going to be on the mediums uh, or the hards. So this, this, this is going to be huge for her. This pit stop. Um, we have been lapped as well, so we can gun the engine at full tilt. Ricardo, lick them tires and start some fires. Let's burn, let's burn this fucking rubber. Just hit done. Absolutely demolish yep. it. Absolutely demolish it, my boy. Let's go. How is science compared to Ricardo? Okay. After this stop, Ricardo might be lapped. Alright. Ricardo, deploy, deploy, deploy. Let's see if we can't catch Overtake off. available. Oh, the Oh, let's see if we can. Let's just let's just get as much of a gap as we can. Oh, we can constant lift off. Okay. Push, push, push. Get as much gap as we can. We'll do two laps at absolutely full tilt, and then we will get in uh, for our first stop. Uh, Aerosmith is almost within her pit window. Her tire man is fantastic. Uh, we are expecting Aerosmith to be lapped. So. We'll try and maintain this gap to Carrera. Be careful of this engine overheat. Okay, so we're pushing the gap to Carrera, but we're within DRS of Bottas. So as we come around uh, this corner, onto the start of the straight, Aerosmith will have DRS. Uh, okay, they can pit lane. So we're going to come in and we're going to go onto the mediums for this final step. What we are going to do. So Daniel Ricardo is going to come in this lap. He is giving everything box, he's got box, box, box. the pit. Aerosmith, meanwhile, has got DRS. She's pushing again. Yep, box can pop. This is double mechanical fault. But she cannot find a way by. But she can't find a way alongside. And actually, I, I fucking lied to you. She can find a way by, and then some. She's got the double DRS going into the first DRS sector, which gives her an absolute mountain of time away from Bottas. Look at, look at that, look at that. Oh god. She has left Bottas in her dust. Absolutely fantastic use of the ERS. Good use of the engine. We'll try and bring this engine temperature down a little bit though. Um, we need to be wary that the higher temperatures 
do cause performance issues. Yeah. She came from the middle of that way. Oh no. Uh, we got a safety car. But... We have a bit of a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sorry. Aerosmith. Let's see what we can do there. Smith in the pit, Ricardo, Ricardo's out, he's crashed. Oh, okay. You okay, you okay, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. That's, that's terrible. Oh, great, doesn't show us a crash. No. I, love the, I love the 2D spectator. <laughs> oh. So we didn't see what happened there, but Ricardo, our star performer of this race, is out. He's out of the race. Okay, safety car is out, so conserve. Full harvest, full conserve. Yeah, we don't get to find out what happened to Ricardo. But she is in the pit lane, so we're 14th place in the pits. Let's see where we come out of this. This might be the race end. Safety car is deployed. 2.6 is a good time. Yeah, we've been matching pretty well with him. Why was it Ricardo that had to crash? He was strong. Okay, so because of all of the safety car, we're going to unlap ourselves. So Aerosmith, so Ricardo, we can, we can, we put a big red in his box. Big X in his box. His box. My notes are only for arrows. So we need to we need to regain. Uh, we need to regain to zero on this. So the field is currently very messy. Let's just see how this goes. And then lap cars are going to be allowed to overtake. Okay, so hang on. we don't we don't have to worry about we definitely don't have to worry about fuel. Anymore. DRS is fueling. Let's keep it that way. Let's wait until safe until this is allowed to overtake. Okay, lapped cars can now overtake. So we should be next past the safety car here. If the safety car will let us pass. Come on, my brother. What the fuck is happening to the safety car? What is the safety car? What is the safety car doing? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's let's push with this. Let's hold neutral with this. Jesus Christ. That was super messy from the safety car. Ugh, Bert Mylander, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, safety car in this lap. This is slightly unfortunate. This probably means this is going to be our finish. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So let's just explore what we can do with her strategy. So if we put you to meet you. Yeah, okay, that works. So we're gonna have to go long on this set of soft tires. Okay, safety car is in. Green flags on the field. Perez has got a gap. He's got what looks to be quite a good gap on Hamilton for second place. We're under green flag conditions once again, and Aerosmith frustratingly is in a race of her own. Her only option is to try and get in front of Magnussen on the hard tires. Um, like I said, we did get those hard tires out of the way. Uh, so let's go for let's go let's go aggressive to get heat in those tires, and then we'll have to scale it back. So let's deploy, deploy, deploy. And so we need to close down on this on this gap. 
That is so unfortunate though that uh, we never got that opportunity. So let's take a look at the, the battles. So they're all lapped up together. Why is the camera freaking so dog shit? So Perez absolutely nailed the lead time. He's got an almost one second gap from Hamilton. Hamilton uh, in second place is fighting off a spirited charge from our old race leader, Verstappen, who even without DRS is coming across the line. Oh, the Ferraris are fighting again. Look at this. Look at this. It's a battle. It's a big battle. Her record. So Perez has now broken the code of Hamilton. He's now the closest to Hamilton. And coming into the DRS, the protection area, that is not going to be a Hamilton is struggling against the Hamilton. The Ferrari is behind the McLaren and the Aston Martin. It is such a big gang gang. It is a. for second place at the moment. Uh, and then after that, the Kurt Albon has got a 30 second gap. So even if we achieve anything in this race, we are not going to get near or nothing. That safety car came out at the worst possible time. Okay, we are up at our strategy here. So let's go for some light tire use. Full engine use, full DRS use. We, we just have to see what we can do with this. This is probably going to end up being quite scuffed. But all we can do is try. <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep on interval chat. So the gap is now 10 seconds between Magnuson and Aerosmith. Our big hope is that Ocon and Magnuson will be and if there is uh, another safety car after this, we will almost certainly get ERS batteries drain, so let's go back to top up. And let's see, let's see what our so the gap over the line is 10.1 seconds, or 10.0 seconds. And we want to see this come down. There's 11 laps to go. Fuel is no longer an issue. It's tires and positions. We've only got the one car to worry about. Oh, we've had a development at the front of the field. So we start. Uh, Perez is still in the lead, but Verstappen has overtaken Hamilton and has broken clear by almost four seconds. He, Verstappen is braving on Perez. This might not be Perez's first victory. Uh, Hamilton is in a very spirited fight behind Norris with the fastest lap of getting absolutely swarmed by Sainz, who takes a position, and this is such a big gag. This is like a sprint. This has become crazy. Everywhere we look, there is fights on track. Uh, Albon is slowly starting to pull up on Manuel Pereira, um, and he has broken away from Ocon in response because Ocon is fighting off again, somewhat injured. Arrow Smith is coming over the line, and let's see what the gap is at the line. Right at the line, she is. 9.8 9.8 with 10 laps to go so that's a 0.2 second gain so right now unless she picks up her pace she is not going to gain on Ocon which is unfortunate we'll just have to see how that goes however let's just keep looking at the battle because this battle for third place is shiny very shiny Look at this big gang gang of cars. All over the shop for DRS is open, fighting for positions. Oh, 
and Norris and Gotta, he takes third place from Carlos Sainz after the DRS zone. This is going to give Carlos Sainz the DRS protection coming into the zone here, but um, Norris has a few more problems. Let's see if Carlos Sainz can make any improvement. So he's got the DRS protection. He is right on his tail as the DRS opens. Is he going to try for the overtake though? DRS is open again. He is trying for the inside, but Norris pops it. Tries for the outside. Norris pops it. Inside. Lock. Inside again, and he's got it. But there's one more DRS protection. The one more DRS room to go, but Carlos Sainz has already got the DRS protection. This is going to give Sainz the uh, DRS advantage coming into the corner. There we go. All going to be pretty status quo for now. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. So, eight laps to go. Aerosmith. As, let's see what she brings her gap down here. So we missed a lap. So we need to see what it is at the line. Are we doing for tire conservation? Yeah, we're tracking pretty much on trend, which is okay. Pretty much on trend. Okay, so with 8 to go, she is going to come over the line now with an 8.4. God dang. With 8 to go. Uh, so she is bringing that gap down. So over the course of 4 laps, we've come down by 1.6. So not 0.4 per lap. And we've only got 8 to go, so I don't know. It's something dramatic. Something dramatic in this fight for Aerosmith to be able to advance and capitalize. Any chance of the points we had were out with Ricardo, sadly. Um, but this is the nature of Formula 1. Sometimes it is your driver for practice. It's unfortunate. And uh, because this is an on game, I, uh, in my first playthrough, I became slightly mad. Well, actually, okay, let me But my first playthrough, uh, I didn't appreciate the driver. I thought it was expensive for um, my, my actual budget. So the only way that I could actually progress um, was if we got points. And we had a race where both cars were in the points. Uh, and I just kept trying to save scum that, that save. And then eventually I was like, no, we're going to do this properly. This is a one and done. And both drivers crashed out. The team went bankrupt, and there was nothing I could do. I just could not take part in the rest of the world. So I was like, well, that's it, that's this game over. So, that was Ken, that one. Alright, with one more lap under her belt, let's see how Aerosmith is doing. Okay, we brought this gap down a bit. This might be jobs on at the end of the race. This might be jobs on at the end of the race. Let's have a look. So Verstappen, after his initial breakout, uh, has seemed to have stalled his progress. He's now only a second and a half behind Paris, but doesn't seem to be making any progress. Meanwhile, Piastri has gotten past the crowd, he's in third place, and he's now a second and a half away from the crowd. He's now in one second behind, and Norris will pass his lap, fighting for the last place. Alonso is in the sixth place. of the zone as an album and Ocon is in 15 place behind Magnussen with Aerosmith in 7th in desperate defense and Sargent's in a race of zone is 8th uh, and Gasly is fighting for the last shot. Very injured car is desperately trying to run up for him. Hopefully he finishes. We have to see. Let's see how this goes. 
Okay, in terms of Aerosmith, how are we? Oh, 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 the statue has really pulled up the gap. What the fuck? I was not expecting that. Burst up and he's now right behind Perez. This is why. We were asking last time out. This is why. Stappen is now within a sniff of the race and there is a back marker of Valtteri Bottas. This could prove disastrous for Perez or He's going for it, he's going for it, he's going for it. Magnussen has developed another mechanical fault. Okay, he's dead. And so we've now got a three-way battle for the lead. This fight between Verstappen and Perez has closed up gaps between the fight, with Stinks not far behind in fourth place. But the DRS is open on the start finish break. Verstappen is going for it and he's got the race lead. There is another DRS. Lead. And Verstappen retains the DRS. And Perez doesn't have it, but he actually does. And Verstappen's got the last one back to the This is huge for Verstappen. This secures Verstappen the race lead. After 54, he led the race at the start. And now Verstappen has resumed race lead with a definitive 2.8 second lead of the Aerosmith is still desperately trying to gain on our competitors. Ugh. We have to keep the tires as they are. I think all we can do now is go to full deploy on the DRS. Let's just use what we have for we have and try to get past. Ocon has got past the injured man. We, are, we just need to try and capitalize on this. We need to get one more place. We need to try and get everything we can from the place. We're one car down. Magnuson is the third mechanical fault. But there! Oh dear, that's not what they need right now. Doesn't say why. But Magnuson is struggling. We've now got just three laps to go, I reckon. And Perez, oh, Perez. Perez is in third place. It's going to be a uh, Red Bull 1 2. So the battle is starting to develop all across the track. Magnuson and Ocon are fighting with each other, which is hopefully going to give Harrison a chance to capitalize on the race. Fingers crossed. So, let's wait until the line. So coming towards the end of lap 55, we have Verstappen in the lead from Austin Piazza. There's Michael Hawk now a five-way lead for second position. Look at these cars, five of them due to the for second position, and that is Piastri Perez with Alonso in a race of his own four seconds behind him. Russell in eighth position, right off the field, then Hamilton and Hulkenberg, then Sinuda, Juan Manuel Camara in a race of his own as an Albon, uh, and Hulkenberg is 15, fighting off the Magnuses, Harris was desperately trying to catch him. And Bottas is still looking at Almost 
could, but not quite. There's another DRX battle between Alpha and Magnus, and Aerosmith is just trying to capitalize. We've got three laps to go, we still have a few advantage. Our cars are doing okay, but we cannot push the cars on this car stop for some time. On that 57 this is this is 10 stuff guys this is 10 stuff we're now within the DRS range oh did we get the detention that is a key thing did Aerosmith get the detention the DRS is open Aerosmith to the final lap is a side-by-side -side battle with Verstappen for first place oh this is this is gonna be intense there is back markers there is back markers of Gasly and Sargent this is gonna play huge into the fight for first place Verstappen has managed to navigate them absolutely beautifully and right now he's come out one second possibly just secured Piastri, the race lead. Right at Verstappen, the race lead. Piastri is second. And he is stuck in the back of the second of Carlos Sainz. This two seconds is the gap now to the lead. This is certainly going to give Verstappen the race lead. Not only the race lead, but the race of victory. Verstappen takes the fastest lap. On the final lap, he's going to come around the last corner. In front of Zhao. And he's going to take the checkered flag. And this is it. Checkered flag flies. It's Verstappen. Science. Perez. Morris. Leclerc. Alonso in the race. Max Verstappen over, over the finish line race. and today's winner. For an Aston Martin 7 and 8, Lance Stroll taking 8. Tsunoda is going to be in the points and 9th place, followed by Russell and Hamilton. But it is going to be Russell and Hamilton. Hamilton and Hulkenberg. Albon is in a race of his own. Let's see how we can do with it. Push, give it everything. Give it absolutely everything you've got. Oh, this is a three-way battle <laughs> for 15 points. And we want our driver to take it. There's, no, there's one more DRS. There is one more DRS. So we've got no more DRS. There is nothing but the lap of Wing and Guile. Can Raven Aerosmith do anything with this? Can she, can she, can she? She's got the DRS! She's got the overlap! Can she do it? No, she can't. She finishes it. End of the world. So that is the 16th place for Raven Arrowsmith. Nice. Look at all these notes I've been taking. It's been a while since I've had to play a game where I have to take notes. So it's a bittersweet day for Hibble F1. I doubt we'll see Daniel a smile Ricardo. on the face of Daniel Ricciardo after that He's one. Out. Having to retire early will no doubt be a bitter disappointment. But today is done, and it's all about looking forward. P16. Massive.
Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another Verstappen podium to his away. already impressive Sainz. record. And that's their second win of the season. A brilliant talent who looks so at home on the track. Yeah. Well, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park, but it was a thrilling weekend here for us all at the Australian Grand Prix. Look at them be our friends. Well, Karu, how do you think they'll be feeling in the team garage at the end of that? It was a strangely mixed weekend for them. We saw one driver put in a strong performance, but it was a different story for the other. Definitely positives there, though. Yeah, for sure. And that's about that for this weekend's here in Melbourne. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares for the Japanese Grand Prix. Ooh, we'll Japanese see you Grand at Prix. Suzuka, a firm favourite for the drivers. Cool. So, in terms of the results of this race, Max Verstappen gained one place to finish work first. Followed by Sainz, Piastri, Perez, Norris, Leclerc, Alonso, Stroll, Tsunoda, um, Russell, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Juan Manuel Carrera, uh, our very own Raven Arrowsmith gained three places to finish 16, and poor Ricardo was out. Uh, in terms of the Drivers' Championship, this now puts Raven Arrowsmith up two places, uh, up one place to 18. But Ricardo falls two places to 19. That is unfortunate. Uh, in terms of the Constructors' Championship, uh, Alpine goes up by two places, knocking us down to 10th place. Remember, our target is 7. Moving on to the fastest pit stop, we got two 2.6 second pit stops. But unfortunately, we did not make the top 10. So that lowers us now to. Where are we? Oh, we're not even on the board. Wait. Wait, why aren't we on the board? Um. Okay, so it doesn't show us 11th place. We have points, but yeah, we are we are in 11th place. Uh, in terms of the report, we had a 2.9. Um. So. So it was run that was the issue. So run is raise, raise, use tires off, new tires on. That was our issue. Um, yeah. Okay, so run is where we really need to improve, I think. So in terms of Aerosmith, she finished 16th place, uh, which gets her her contract bonus of quarter of a million. Which is unfortunate. We and we should go easy on the team kills. This is Bart. Just saying. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Why the fuck did they get hit? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> oh, here he is. Ka-chow! Get your dilly vegetables. Strawberry isn't a vegetable, you fucking mortal. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I'm looking down to find the bomb. Yeah, yeah, but he could. Uh, okay, okay. Just because you can't see me. If you want to, you can fuck a hooker! Are we ready for the flesh Are you ready tunnel? for Tony Hawk's pro flesh tunnel? Throw <laughs> down, throw down, throw up. <laughs> uh, you don't want to... Okay, I'm not. <laughs> 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 Fuck! Fuck! Uh, what does the army say? 
Ah, uh, fuck. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's on you. I literally can't move. <laughs> I've spawned it in the barrel of water. <laughs> You're really fast, and I am very good with ropes. That came out badly. Shut up. We waited all this fucking time for you to download the game, and you fucking get yourself banned. Doesn't hit as hard as life does. Jesus Christ, that was okay. deep. Who hurt you? Shit. <laughs> Say the word exterminate. Oh, down there, right behind you, behind you, up the stairs. There we go. No, it's my oh, turn. Oh! <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Fuck! Fudge! Oh Lord, he's right there! What? <laughs> Stop the zombie apocalypse! I want to talk about battle steamers. <laughs> what are you doing, aircraft? Fuck I'm dead. Not good, not good, not good. <laughs> Why is it a plant in the fucking hallway? Well, because that's where I'm gonna grow my fucking plants, isn't it? Come, come on! Fucking die! But he talks more like this. No, wait, that's not right. Choice of a toy to eat. There's a cooker! Oh lord! Oh yes, I sure can the lights out of that. Why have I been sent to prison? <laughs> oh ho holy fuck! A dick. That motherfucker just sank the bus. Do you have any idea how many bits are going to have? I'm a jellyfish. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Fucking dumbass! God damn it! <laughs> Absolute fucking... Why did that not go through? Cause you suck. What the moon doing? Oh, bitch, I can't be outnumbered. I don't know how to can. <laughs> That's a fucking threat. <laughs> okay. Then beat them the balloon. Oh, I thought you were gonna hit us up with the Roger Roger in that voice. Roger Roger. <laughs> 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 Speed sign. You. <laughs> Fucking hard mode. <laughs> ah, you bitch! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, that's no bueno. This is no bueno. This is very no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just, uh, let's just abandon. Surprise, motherfucker! We <laughs> can break this with all the people inside. Oh, fuck yeah we can. Fuck yeah.